Hey, welcome to Raw Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on higher order polynomials. In this video, it says use synthetic, synthetic division to divide the following. The thing with synthetic division is it's a substitute to long division, which can be long and overwhelming. You can only do synthetic division if what you're dividing by is a binomial and usually a simple binomial. So the process is I always put what I'm dividing by in a box. You have numbers, you multiply, sorry, you add down, and then whatever you get here, you multiply up. Then you add down, and whatever you get here, you multiply up. And that's the process. Add and multiply, add and multiply, add and multiply. This may look confusing, but trust me, synthetic division is a lot faster than long division and tends to be a lot easier. There are a few places where students often make mistakes in synthetic division because it goes so fast. So let's make sure we don't make any of those basic mistakes. First of all, what we put in the box is what makes x minus 2 equals 0. That is almost always the case. We want, this is essentially the parenthesis, the factor, and we always want to know what makes that parenthetical phrase zero. So we add that two over, and it's x equaling two. All right, so we'll put two in our box. And now we put our coefficient. Coefficient is the word for number multiplied to a variable and our constant, but we have to acknowledge every coefficient straight down the line. So we have x cubed and we have 3x squared, but we don't have an x term. So there are no x terms. And then we have a minus four. We have to acknowledge the missing x. Otherwise, none of this works. That happens in long division as well. You always have to acknowledge what is missing. So we have an x cubed, a 3x squared, no x's, and a negative four. So we add down, well, there's nothing here to add to the one, so the one comes down. Two times one is two. Now we add down, three plus two is five. We multiply, two times five is 10. Now we add down, zero plus 10 is 10. Now we multiply, two times 10 is 20. And now we add down, negative four plus 20 is 16. And I kind of created another box. I start with a box, I end with a box. Um, so what does this all mean? If this is a cubic, if we do divide a cubic by an x, our resulting polynomial will be a squared. So that means our solution is x squared plus five x plus 10, but we have a remainder. Sorry, remainder. I don't know why I covered up the I. Remainder, okay, we have a remainder. I dotted my N as well. And the remainder has to go over what we divide it by. So we have X squared plus five X plus 10 plus 16, x minus tooths. And this becomes the solution to this divided by this. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.